Welcome back to JPX Energy Market Weekly Updates. We'll drive the price of oil starting Monday, this past weekend meeting of OPEC Plus. A global shortfall in crude oil supply is set to deepen in the third quarter as Saudi Arabia said it would cut its crude output by another 1 million barrels per day, deepening the OPEC Plus Alliance production cuts to 4.7 million barrels per day. The deal also involves a complicated rebalancing of the line's 2024 production baselines, from which quotas will be calculated, redistributing allocations in favor of the UAE, with its higher spare capacity. OPEC Plus also said in a statement that it would limit combined oil production to 40.46 million barrels per day over January to December 2024. Despite the production cuts and demand growth forecast for this year largely holding up, the main monthly average price for benchmark Middle East Dubai, which is the primary sales reference price for Middle East oil producers, tumbled over 10% versus April. Traders have already raised concerns over the sluggish pace of growth in the United States and a possible further rate rise, while oil market is waning Chinese demand, which is main uncertainty for markets right now. So, it is crucial to take over Plus' decision in the context of sentiment and market-based positioning, which is extraordinarily fragile and extremely sharp for now. The current market is extremely difficult to trade directionally, as oil remains range-bound after its 2022 highs over 100. The continuous weakness in the oil price has divided the views of analysis regarding the nature of the latest oil price cycle. There are short-term oil market data that inform cyclical price changes, and longer-term indicators that drive more structural price or sector price level. Any mismatch between supply and demand could cause price swings. After such swings, prices appear to revert to their long-run mean value or long-run marginal cost, which also appears to change over time. Structural and cyclical don't always align, and this is one of the moments. What most analysts agree on is that the oil market structural outlook is one of the tightness, but for the time being, it's been offset by cyclical weakness. On the structural side, some argue that we have entered the world of oil prices been higher for much longer. The reason is that years of underinvestment and steadily rising demand have tipped the market into undersupply that cannot be fixed quickly or easily. On the cyclic side, growth cycles in the global economy are incredibly important for commodity markets in general and oil prices in specific. While some economists have been projecting a recession just around the corner all year, some argue that the latest downturn is part of a cycle in manufacturing activity and energy prices that has repeated with an average duration of three to four years since the early 1990s. According to a theory, the current slowdown in energy might be a mid-cycle soft patch and will be followed by a new cyclical rebound, although it's likely to be a below trend one. Another thing to note is that global inventories of petroleum and more cyclically sensitive components, such as these legs, remain well below the long-term average. This means that inventories are likely to deplete quickly in the event of the economy gains momentum again, little, little time to rebuild them in the short term. In the case of low inventory, oil prices range may be larger than expected. Okay, that's all we have for this week. Welcome back next week.